times a week. Wrestling, stand up, everything. I'm ready to fight. Um, just about to get my weight down. You know, I'm right where I need to be. I'm weighing a little lighter than I thought I'd be, but I think it's just because I'm in really good shape. I made 15 minutes of hell. This uh, Russian, hopefully, uh, not hopefully, I know he's in shape. I know he's a little bit younger than me, and he has everything to lose. I have everything to gain. What do you say to the naysayers that say you're, um, you're, you know, a little bit too old, or you know that this is something a fight that you can't win? What do you have to say to them? All those naysayers don't fight for a living. I don't listen to the naysayers. I see. I listen to the yaysayers, the ones who support me and have my back. Seen all the trials and tribulations I've been through in my life, uh, you know, physically, emotionally, relationship-wise, training-wise, fighting-wise, and they've seen me from the beginning. And I've been through the bottoms of hell to the tops of heaven, back down to the bottoms, and working my way back up to the top. This year has been a gracious year for me. I've worked really hard over this last year to correct my family. Um, being a full, uh, full custody father, single father, I think has changed my life completely. I wake up every single day at 6.30 a.m. with my boys, get them ready for school, take them to school, drop them off, get to the gym and train, get back to the uh, school, pick them up after school, get them home. Nanny comes over a couple hours, I go to the gym, train my for the last two hours, get back before they go to bed, feed them, bathe them, brush their teeth, kiss them goodnight, so see you in the morning, sons. And that's my every day, and that's my life with my kids. You know, I, I started this business and it was fun to fight. Now it's a business, it strictly is a business to me. I'm going in there and I need to support my family. And I put my, sacrifice my life, I sacrifice my body to entertain each and every one of the fans that, that watch me compete. And I've been doing it for 17 years, and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. My body's healthy, my mind's right, and when my mind's right, I'm a dangerous foe. And I, I just hope uh, the guy I'm fighting is ready to fight because I'm ready to fight. Coming on Saturday, can that bring the fun back? I mean, you said this is a business now. You also said you feel healthy and you want to keep going for quite a while. Can you bring the fun back? Is there a way to bring the fun back? I've been bringing the fight back now for the last four weeks. Bring the fun back. I'm fun, fun, fight, same thing. It's all fun, it's all fight. It's, it's both to me. I, when it's time to compete, I'm ready to compete. You know, uh, through my career, I've had a lot of many of injuries, many of surgeries, and I still put my game as on an A term when it comes to fighting. I go out and I give it my all. Win, lose, or draw, I give it my all. You know, I, uh, I go out to try to defeat my guy, I try to stop him, I try to do what it takes to get my hand raised. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But no matter what, I go out there and I put my heart on my sleeve like no other. You, mi you mentioned over. I thought it was weird that he called me out. Uh, him being the world champ, I thought he had everything to lose. But I don't know. Maybe he want, has no rain, uh, name recognition. He wants to make a name off me. Um, he's going to make a name off me for 15 minutes about how great he uh, took punishment from me. My brand's punishment. <laughs> you know, he's, he said that uh, he's going to beat me. Yeah, he's going to beat his fist or his face against my fist and my elbows. Um, like I say, I, I'm hungry. I, I want to fight. Um, it's going to be Discovery Channel all over again. It's going to be a lion chasing down a gazelle. He's a small gazelle. And I'm going to have to rock you for him. With all the talk do you feel about I have nothing to prove. I've been doing it for 17 years. I just want to fight. I want to have fun in that cage again. And that's my job, is to entertain the fans. The millions of people at home, fans are buying it. They're going to get their dollars worth. And that's my job. It's always been my job since day one. That's why I'm Tito Ortiz. I go in and I, I prove. Proofs in the pudding every time I fight. You know, with the card you guys have on Saturday, just top to bottom, a lot of talented guys will be in that ring. What do you think the fans should expect when they come to the arena on Saturday? You know, I think they should see uh, early 4th of July. we get some fireworks. we get some good knockouts. These guys want to prove, prove, prove a point. And on uh, Saturday night, I mean, pay per is a lot cheaper than the UFC, but you're going to get better fights, I believe. You mentioned overcoming, um, you know, some pers personal um, obstacles, and you know, you've been through so much adversity. What advice would you give to somebody that's going through a tough time in their life right now? You know, anyone who's going through a tough time in their life, in time it will pass. One of my friends told me that last year, and I went through the hardest year of my life last year, and I've been through some troublesome times. And my kids mean my world, the world to me, and I fought for them. Um, I got full custody of them a month ago through courts, and um, I fought hard for it. It cost me fortune but it was worth every penny um, it was hard because I, I want their mother with them of course uh, but she just want to see the light she thinks she's right and everybody's against her and it's just someone needs to find that in themselves to take uh, responsibility for their actions and the biggest responsibility is children if you're able to bring a kid in this world you gotta have the responsibility of uh, being there for them and that's what I'm doing 
even being a full-time fighter and a businessman, I'm still doing it every single morning. And that's something the only thing I can tell for people that go through the hard times, in time it will pass. Will your boys be here on Saturday night? No, my boys won't be here on Saturday night. A little young still. They'll be at home in Huntington. Uh, my mom and uh, one of my nannies will be taken care of. But uh, I've already talked to them, sat them down. They understand a little bit. They're into wrestling a little bit, so they understand just a little bit. But I told them, you know, can we watch that? Or when I get back home, we'll watch together. So uh, I've always, my oldest son, Jacob, we do the same thing too. And uh, it, it just makes me more secure to understand that I'm with them, not like the cage fighting at that time. So. Was it surprising to you that Shomenko guy that you were sponsored before would call you out after you know, giving him money to wear your company's logo? You know, um, as my business, Butterstone Athletics, I just try to help fighters. You know, as the sport grows, you know, it's really hard for fighters to get sponsorships. And I went out my way, you know, I thought he was a great fighter. You know, I, there was times, don't get me wrong, and I look and I go, wow, I wonder if I'd ever fight this kid. Uh, the figure. Um, but it was strictly as a business. I'm just going to sponsor, I want to help out the kid. And then he calls me out. He just, uh, I guess, kind of put a smile on my face that he recognized me that highly to call me out that he's a champ. But he has everything to lose, as I say. I have nothing to lose, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put on a show. My job is to go in there and entertain the fans. And I'm getting my hand raised. And I've been going through it so much in my mind, it's just like self-fulfilling prophecy. I believe it, I dream it, I live it, I'm gonna do it. Is your goal to get into a tournament after this fight and then make a run for the title? Um, I'll make a run for the title, but I'll do it super fight wise. I just wanna fight the best guys in front of me. That's it, man. I wanna fight the guys that, that they that they think the best guys are. Or the best guys call me out, one or the other. You know, I know the big rampage fight will is in the making, but you guys get past uh, King Mo first. Um, but I need to get past Shemenko first, you know? It's, it's Catch-22. I'm here just to fight, man. I want to fight, I want to put on a show. That's my job. How do you see Rampage and King Mo going down? It'll be an exciting fight, you know? Uh, King Mo better have his hands up, and, you know, uh, Rampage better have his take on the pace. That's the fight. <laughs> With the severity of the, of the injuries that you've had and the surgeries that you've had, now that you're getting back in there, is there, I mean, are there nerves about, about fighting again? No, no nerves at all about any of the injuries I've had. You know, um, I have had back surgery. I fought five times. Uh, I had neck surgery. I fought twice. Actually, three times. One, two, three, but four times that I fought. Um, this last neck injury was just a hairline fracture and vertebrae. Uh, they did stem cell injections. The injections completely healed the bone. There was no calcification at all. So when they did the MRI, there was no uh, no viewing um, deposits at all where the fracture was. So they healed it perfect. Um, so that's out of my mind. That's gone. I've been through four weeks of hard training. Like I say, six days a week, uh, smiling almost every single day. Uh, I'm ready to fight. How about the, just the layoff in general? Uh, the layoff, I, I don't know. When you, when you spar six days a week for four weeks, I think the layoff, I, I'm filled by the fans, man. I'm filled by people screaming. I love that. That what fuels me. That's what gets me keep going. I'm going, I'm going. So it's just a factor of, uh, I don't know. We'll see what, what happens on Saturday night. I'm ready. I'm, I'm in shape. I want to fight. I, my weight's perfect. And I'm focused. I'm confident. The only thing I just pay attention now is fighting Shulmanko, and that is it. Cool. Thanks, guys.